The eyes of the world today stunned by this image. This was debris from a meteor racing toward Earth, streaking across the sky there, crashing into the ground in those woods. And look at some of the other images emerging tonight. The cloudy trail the meteor produced and on impact, this carving a little pool into a frozen lake. It's the biggest meteor in more than a century to hit the planet. This one crashed in Russia. A thousand people were injured from shards of flying glass and debris. Tonight here, we have learned there was no warning. More on that from NASA in just a moment here. But we begin with ABC's Kirit Radia in Moscow. It came out of nowhere, a bright speck in the sky, soon streaking across the horizon, followed by an almost apocalyptic scene, a blinding flash of light, and then all hell broke loose. Dizzying explosions, shattering windows, knocking these office workers to the ground. These students were lucky, protected by curtains from the flying glass, and these men barely escaped the blast. In the streets, pandemonium. Terrified residents thought the world was ending. People started to panic. Somebody screamed, the end of the earth, he says. The chaos of the meteor was captured on cell phones and on dashboard cameras of cars, so popular here in Russia. The blast was so powerful, it knocked down a wall at this factory. In all, over 1,200 people were injured, mostly from broken glass. 3,000 buildings damaged, over a million square feet of glass shattered. Many were injured after going to the window to check out the flash in the sky. The glass shattered and bounced back on me. My beard was cut open, this man says. The meteor was believed to be about 50 feet wide, weighing a whopping 7,700 tons. That's about the same as the Eiffel Tower. It raced towards Earth at over 40,000 miles per hour. As it crashed into the atmosphere, it began to break into pieces, causing those booms and sending those powerful shockwaves towards the ground. Rocking a zone stretching hundreds of miles away, those shockwaves causing all of the damage. As for the pieces of the meteor, one of the bigger chunks landing here, leaving that massive hole in the frozen lake. Tonight, about 20,000 Russian troops are headed to the affected area. They'll be helping those residents who are struggling without windows. Temperatures are expected to drop well below zero overnight. Meanwhile, Russian television coverage has been going wall to wall with what some commentators said looked like a scene out of an action movie. David? Kirit Radia leading us off from Moscow tonight. Kirit, thank you. And this, of course, comes just as last night here. We told you about the asteroid barreling toward Earth. That was something completely different, not to be confused with this meteor. Today, the asteroid was, in fact, streaming toward Earth. And as predicted, it missed us this afternoon by about 17,000 miles. But that was still pretty close. And so tonight, we wanted to bring in Amy Meinzer, an astrophysicist. She joins us from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory there in California. Amy, thanks for being here. And when we saw those images out of Russia today, we all wondered, could this happen here? It's possible that such an event could happen again. This was actually the largest fireball that we've seen in a long time, since about 1908. But there could be others that happen that we just don't see because they happen over the ocean or over someplace that's not populated. This image caught our eye, too. Look at this. This is the Earth here. All of those dots are space debris up there. 21,000 pieces orbiting the Earth. That's a lot of stuff not too far away. Yeah, that's right. So there is a lot of space junk out there, and, and we're working really hard to track it and, and you know, keep showing where it's going to go and what's going to happen to it. In most cases, though, these bits of space debris will, you know, kind of fall down and they'll be just burned up in the Earth's atmosphere. So most of the time, they're completely harmless to us. So most of the time, harmless. But we knew that asteroid was barreling toward Earth. You predicted that it would miss us. Yeah. But correct me if I'm wrong, there was no warning in Russia about this meteor that suddenly blinded all those drivers there on the road. So what are we to think of that? Yeah, that's right. The object that came into Russia about a day ago, that was about maybe a third the size of the asteroid that passed us by. It's pretty small, actually, as these things go. It was about 15 meters across. That's about the size of two parked vans uh, end to end. And because it was so small, it would have been very faint and, and very hard for astronomers to see from the ground. We know you all have your eyes trained on these particles 24 hours a day, so please thank the team for us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.